What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Bedford Charter Service, checking out Bedford, Massachusetts, their CDL edition. Uh, for some reason it's open to all players. I'm a trainee, but I am able to join. And the only reason I know this is because a few of you in the comments were telling me to hurry up and check it out. Oh, you can t there's a second lot. Well, let's not go there, but uh, one thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if this is real or not, but look at this. Hiring drivers will train $32 to $33. Now, I wonder if that's real. Like, if it's actually in Massachusetts, like, if that's the going rate. Because that's, like, the salary of, like, uh, of a registered nurse in my area. Or even, like, um, I don't know, but there's no way. They only pay, like, 17 bucks an hour here for school bus driver. What does that say? School bus. Oh, look at these vans. Oh, my God. You can actually drive one. So I heard in Massachusetts that uh, I didn't know this, but somebody had told me that uh, they do drive these vans, which is so weird. I don't understand. I mean, it's uh, I mean, I guess maybe they have is it due to a bus shortage or something? I don't know. Uh, but if it saves money, then I'm all for it. Right. So, I mean. So let's see here. Yeah, we're going to drive number seven. That's what we're driving. Oh, wait. Uh, Hold on. Maybe not, because I remember I tried to drive this last time. I tried to record this the other day, and it... All right, we're driving 42. That's what we're driving. Oh, yeah. Here's the bus. So I don't know if this is somebody's assigned bus. If it is, thanks for the lender mate. Um, So let's go ahead and hop in it. Hit the switch. I don't know what year this is. Because I don't know buses. I'm still like a little sick. I have like a runny nose. So I'm going to try my hardest not to uh, have that be an issue during this video. So um, start the bus. Oh, look at the lights. Look at the lights. Nice. Nice. Here are the ambers. And the reds. There you go. And it's got like this cover on the front, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why they use glass for the uh, sign here. You can see uh, glass kind of messes it up. Uh, I'd go smooth plastic and uh, turn down the uh, transparency. Uh, same with the windows. I don't know if you use glass for the windows or not, but uh, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on these lights. How are we on diesel? We are good. So this is my first look at their CDL edition. Uh, obviously, it's a lot different right off the bat because the lot is different. Uh, they apparently have two different lots. Uh, and I know we're not going to be able to explore the whole map in this video, but... Uh, We'll do what we can. This guy pulled over to the side. It looks like, oh, these have suspension. Nice. Rocking back and forth. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Let's go ahead and make this turn here. So if we can't check out the whole map, hopefully uh, the game will still be open and we can do another video on it. So uh, let's pick up right here. Why not? AM route. You know what I mean? AM route. Look at all the trees. Oh my goodness. I love it. Take a screenshot there. Oh, this is a better screenshot right here. Nice. Love the screenshots. Okay. So this is what I like. I love the congested roads, all the trees. That's the type of bus simulator, simulator I like. I like when it's hard to navigate, you know what I mean? Because it's like real life. I don't like it being an open map where you can see from like one end to the other. That's no fun. My goodness. My nose hasn't been running all day and right when I want to record a video, it starts to run. So that's lovely. Oh, what do we got here? We got some one-way streets. This looks like a town square, maybe. 
I don't know. There's a church. We'll go straight, actually. Okay. This light's taking forever. That guy made a right on red. I don't know if that's legal here. Oh, there's another person. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We got a cemetery. We'll go this way. Got some UI in the sky. Um, so something I actually meant to say in my last video when we reviewed the uh, NBC spring update um, with the overhead UI, you can make a settings toggle to turn them off. It's not very difficult, difficult at all. Um, if any of you game owners need help, uh, like creating like a settings tab and turning those off, let me know. I would be most certainly down to help you. Uh, script wise I could definitely help you um, so just let me know uh, but uh, yeah because it not only is it helping you it's helping me when I review these games I like to have a uh, a nice open sky to where I can take like a nice screenshot you know that's just personal preference it's easier you know Cause if I were to take a screenshot right here, that Davis elementary school and the MSHS, it all be in the backdrop. So, and we don't want that. We don't want that. These look like houses. Well, oh wow. This is weird. Oh, we got a tree growing through my bus. Oh, this is nice. Look at the terrain. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is definitely nice. I love the trees. It feels like an actual neighborhood because it's so... It's not open, you know what I mean? Except for, like, over there, but... You got, like, a community park right here, it looks like. You can definitely tell that this is based off a real map or a real location. But I, what I don't understand, okay, I get that, um, you know, your CDL edition is going to be a little bit funner than your main game. Me personally, I would have it the other way around. I would have this huge map as your main game for sure. And or I'd have it for both games because um, you don't want, you know, the people who are potentially going to join your group to know what they're, uh, to not know what they're missing out on. Oh, we got a lake over here. Oh, nice. Stop right here. Sorry if I'm hitting my mic. Nice. Yeah, this is great. This is really good. It's kind of the same vibes I was getting from when I first made a video on this game. Obviously, it was the other map, but, you know, I liked it so much because that was literally the title of the video. Because um, they're definitely doing something different uh, with all the trees. Like I said, I know I'm ranting about the trees, but my goodness, trees are so important to your map. Uh, we're going to turn around here. And we're gonna use this guy's driveway. Me personally, I think this is an appropriate amount of trees. An appropriate amount. And where you got all this open area, I don't know what this part of Massachusetts looks like, but I put some fields or something, uh, you know, to at least 
kind of uh, substitute the open land, you know. But this is nice. And the mixture of trees, you know, it's not just two, three trees. It's it's different types of trees. You got your oak trees, uh, your spruce, your pine. It's very nice. Your birch even. Look at the birch wood. Nice. Very nice. And the terrain right there. I actually want to go back to that one spot where we first saw the terrain. Let's go back there. See what's back there. Because this map is huge. Look how big this map is. I mean, granted, look, these buildings might not be the greatest. I mean, it's literally just a block. They're probably putting a school here. They're, uh, and I'm not a fan of that, though. You know, uh, if you're going to make uh, something look like it's being built, you know, don't make it look like it was mistakenly left in the game. Uh, at least put, like, some construction stuff there. You know, I, that's assuming you're building something. If you're not, then I don't know what it's there for. This is nice. Okay, where's that area? I think it's right here. You almost have to drive in first person because you need to see where exactly you're going. Look at that. The nice long driveways too. It's not just simple driveways. It's got some of these driveways have curves to them and everything. Yeah. So I don't know why they're why this game's open to the public. Maybe I don't know. So where are the restaurants at? I'm looking over there and it looks like there might be some more stuff over there. We're looking for the restaurants. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it's just the road that leads us back to, okay. Um, where do we want to go? Should we go? We, we want to get over there, so I guess we'll make a right. We'll make a right right here. I hope we don't get stuck trying to make a turn like that. You're all over the place. Very nice. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get over there. I'm assuming we'll take one of these other streets. Um, yeah, maybe. if I can find the street uh okay okay no just leads to nowhere yeah no that's something personally I wouldn't do you know uh I know a lot of people do this but they leave uh unfinished things in the map they leave roads connecting to nowhere uh I, I wouldn't do that that's just me I like to polish everything up but this is nice look at the corner here how it's on a curve and the level of detail on the sidewalks and the walls over there very nice okay got some stuff over there yeah no this map is huge a lot of roads. Okay, 
I guess we'll go right. No stoplights. At least not right there. A lot of different roads, a lot of different neighborhoods. And then we've got like a, maybe a store complex up here. Pharmacy. Starbucks. Supercuts. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's probably based off real life. It's probably got a plaza there with a gas station next door. Yeah. There's a lot over there. There's that church we passed. Uh, we just need to find a school to go to. <laughs> yeah, but that, uh, the script for the, uh, uh, removing, toggling on and off the, uh, Overhead UI is is very simple. It's literally just like two lines of script. That's it. That's it. Well, actually, it's more like uh, six. It's easy. Actually, the harder part is uh, making the UI, which doesn't have to be anything special. You just make like a little thing down here and click it, and then click two button and then. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Fire department. Oh boy. Oh man. Are we stuck? Oh, son of a. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, this is gonna. Yeah, this is bad. Well, I guess we'll have to end the video early because oh no 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 we're good uh that's another thing make your signs uh turn the collisions off please because for one you're not gaining anything by having them on uh for one actually having them off you'll improve your lag or your performance i should say and people won't be hitting them when they're trying to make a turn uh so most certainly turn them off I'd almost say the same thing with trees. If they're not, if they're collidable too, make sure they're not collidable. I mean, I get it. You probably want it like realistic. It's like if you hit a tree, you actually hit it, but still. Okay, this is, I guess we turn in here. I have no idea where the bus lot might be or bus loot. Uh, let's go around the back. I, f I have a feeling it might be in the back. Usually anything in the front is uh, drop off for cars. Uh, no, no, that might actually be the bus loop in the front. That might actually be the bus loop. Got another soccer field. They love their soccer, don't they? Massachusetts. Oh boy. Oh. Wow, I'm surprised I made that turn. All of these two, if these are collidable, turn them off. Anything you don't really need or interact with, turn the collisions off. Not to say that there's any lag. I mean, this game's actually I mean, there's only one other person in here, but this game's surprisingly performing pretty well for everything that it has in it. Um, I guess we'll just drop off here. There you go. I mean, oh man. Yeah, so the building is not the greatest, but whoever's designing the map definitely has... Uh, I almost want to say a passion you know it looks like they could be making it off like an actual place i'm assuming bedford uh, i've never seen the town of bedford so i wouldn't know what it looks like but um 
some of the building is is not the greatest i mean they used uh what looks like slate for the windows i'd use smooth plastic and uh turn the reflectance up a little bit that's that's just me but uh i don't know i have the right to uh critique as i'm a builder myself so i know what i'm talking about anyway very very nice map uh i will be making a follow-up video so uh, if the owner is watching if you do decide to um close the game uh if you could uh rank me in the group to where i could probably join back and uh, make a follow-up video if not you know uh just leave the game open i guess i don't i don't know it's up to you uh if none of that happens then uh i guess we just won't make a follow-up video um but uh very nice game if you guys do wish to play it yourself will be linked in the description down below uh it's the first link in the description uh i'm gonna be sure to make it the first link uh for every game here on out um but yeah if you guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace